Good morning, Cyber Traders, and happy Wednesday on the 4th of October. Everybody excited? I know I am because we got the, uh, the last day of our advanced class, our phase three. Let me tell you, what a great lesson yesterday going in the afternoon. I want to talk a little bit about it because I know a lot of you in the training room uh, that uh, were not in, you know, couldn't, um, you know, couldn't be in there or, you know, because you're not a student or maybe just a member, but some of you obviously been here for so long that you don't need to be in class all the times, but you're in the trading room. I want to talk a little bit about some of the stocks that we've traded, uh, what had some big, big moves, and also a valuable, valuable lesson to learn from, you know, how do you get yourself in trouble, you know, by not knowing when to get in and when to get out. Now, um, it's funny, but yesterday I did an event uh, last night, and I want to point something out really quick. First of all, people always come up to me and tell me, says, you know what, Fausto, those stocks that you trade are penny stocks, and I tell you, I get, I don't know, I, I try to hold my composure and try to be cool about it, but sometimes people like, I'm like, wait a minute, what makes you, first of all, if you know anything about penny stocks, okay, penny stocks trade on the pink sheet stocks, okay? That's number one. So, I, first of all, I don't trade pink sheet stocks. And secondly, some stocks, because anybody thinks anything on the $5 or $1 a penny stock, they're like, you know what? I know stocks are trading at $10, $20 out of penny stocks. It's it, it, Obviously, you, you don't know the rule of what makes a penny stock, which is a bulletin board stock, versus a NASDAQ national. So we only trade NASDAQ national stocks. That's the key, all right? That's the most important thing that you have to understand when it comes to trading. We trade NASDAQ national stocks, all right? Two. First of all, who cares? You know, whatever it is, a penny stock. I mean, does that make you a bad person? Let me tell you. This is my argument I tell all those people. When was the last time that you saw a stock that went from a dollar to seven dollars like ECYT? Oh, but where it is today? No, 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 no. I tell them, that's okay. That's we're not swing trading, we're day trading it. When's the last time you saw a stock like ECYT? When's the last time you were in a stock like CLSN, okay, that went from $1.50 to $8, all right? When was the last time MTBC, when you saw a stock go from $1.50 to $4, like yesterday? Oh, by the way, coincidental, some people say, oh, I, I saw it once, but I haven't never really seen them. But we did it three times in one day, all right? And you know what? Today's another day. That's the past. This is the present. This is why we love what we do, okay? Because we want to trade against the people that are ignorant, that don't know how to trade, that, that are out there. And Because what happened, last night I did an event at 7.30, and, you know, and people were coming up to me, and it was just, you know, they were asking me a question regarding, oh, but, you know, we don't trade these stocks. I'd rather trade uh, Amazon, okay? Okay, God bless you. Oh, but I know I can't afford it. So I trade the options, okay? These, this is what makes us excited and should make us so uh, uh, so excited to compete against these people because that's where, that's the, that's the ignorance. Those are the people you want to trade against. That is why when they say 90% of the people lose money, that's the reason why. Because all they think that they could trade out there is stocks like Apple, okay, which is not going anywhere. You know, stocks like... Um, uh, Ford, you know, or I don't know, I'm just thinking out loud. Any of these, any of these stock, oh, I got to trade ETFs, you know, whatever it may be. So anyway, fun thing. Anyway, you're right, Mark. You know, MTBC, you're plus now, you're up a dollar on that trade. <laughs> Let's give him a round of applause. Way to go, Mark. Congrats, baby. Do that every day, a thousand shares, thousand bucks, quarter million dollars. Congratulations. That's what, that's what you need to do. Hey, good job. All right, so anyway, let's talk about some of the stocks that we did trade yesterday. So I brought a couple of them up. This is what we do here. I know we have a lot of new members that, are, that, that is still here, and I know some of you are still not convinced to be a student. But let me just tell you, this is, this is day trading at its best. This is why I love doing it for 25 years. And this is why, let me tell you, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, because there's a lot of you that I've trained here 
that are sick and tired of dealing with the mutual funds, the hedge fund guys, the stockbrokers, and you know, and trying to get around and you know, read it at a book. This is this is this is what trading. And you know what? I know there's a lot of people watching this on YouTube right now, but this is where the money is. Oh, okay. So AMD. Let's look at that one too. Yeah, AMD was a good trade, but let me tell you, I like the difference between AMD and the C. LSN or the ECTY or the MTBC, you risk less money and you deal with you deal with the um, not dealing with the with the best traders on Wall Street and you know the stock can get awfully volatile. You got to be a level three trader to trade AMD. All right, so that's where that goes. So now that we got that out of the way, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <clears throat> by the way, I want now let's talk about a new day. Okay, so what is the big news that's going on? Well. Didn't I tell you guys to log in at 8.30? How many times do I tell you, you got to log in at 8.30? You got to be at 8.30. Because you know why? JJ, who's been a, uh, who came here on site, and I had a t long talk with JJ when she was here. I said, JJ, you got to be here at 8.30. Well, guess what? She just made 24 cents, you know, trading a, a TEVA. And I said it. Listen, TEVA is testing a major support level. Let's give her a round of applause. James made 44 cents on TEVA on the debt, on the bounce. Look at that. That's what we trained for. That's what it's all about. And by the way, Josh is going to be doing Traders Talk today at 1 o'clock. So he's going to talk about this. So make sure you email, you email him your questions. All right? All right. Now let's go talk about what is moving around. So we got, we got, we got, um, I want to keep an eye on the, uh, some of the stocks that we traded, first of all, the CLSN this is why you don't hold positions overnight, <laughs> all right? So easy come, easy go, right? Look at stock went to eight in pre-market. Look where it ended up now, now in the four, all right? So anyway, that's, what, what do we say? Whatever goes up comes down twice as fast. I want to keep an eye on the MTBC this morning. So I'm going to put that one on the watch list, all right? Now, what else is making a big move? RGSE, Okay. That one's got a great pre-market trading. Stock traded 1.4 million shares, up 168%. Did you hear that? 163%. All over that one. Put that on the Fausto watch list. This one, up pretty big, but it's kind of flatlined, so I'm going to scratch that one out. Uh, the CATB. This thing is just literally like a roller coaster. Look at that thing going up, but you know what? It's got support levels here at 350, but it's pretty damn volatile in pre-market, which kind of gets me a little nervous. So I don't know if I'm too crazy about that one. That one's going to be more second protocol. Um, MTBC, we already got it up there. Um, MYL, okay. MYL, uh, basically the company that makes the EpiPen. I think that's one of. I think Josh put that in the in the in the uh, the news be that the reason why TEVA is in competition with uh, MYL because they came out with a drug that's very similar to it. But anyway, that one, uh, a little bit of a brand name, guys. Got to be careful with this one. You got to be a three or four trader uh, to trade that stock. Very, very dangerous stock. A little on the cheaper side, VKTX, nice little stock right there. Pre-market, mm, you know, up 18%. I'll put that on the watch list. Old, been doing really well. You know what's amazing? Every single, you know what's a, do you guys see a pattern going on right now? Do you realize that every brand, every stock that we're looking at is in the medical business? If it's not a pharmaceutical, a billing company, they're all in the same business, right? Is that, is that, I mean, is it me? So, you know, I know, I know that we have a lot of uh, doctors that are here. We have a lot of pharmacists that are here. You know, um, and it's amazing when you guys start realizing, like, my God, I'm in this business. And, you know, if I only knew when I was when I was a pharmacist and I know Ken Thole is probably saying this himself. I mean, I knew there was a great drug, but I didn't know I could have made more money trading the stock. And that's why he's here. Right, Ken? Yeah, drugs are unbelievable. So anyway, this is what really and you know what? When we go to New York Stock Exchange, you're going to notice that most pharmaceuticals trade on the Nasdaq. And there's, that's why there's more volatility here. Another thing, keep an eye on dryers, D-R-Y-S, breaking out, all right? I want to keep a close eye on that. Mankind, another one, another pharmaceutical. My God, this list is too big. This list is getting too big. I don't like to have more than 10. Global, that's another shipping company. I guess that's following all the shipping stocks. You know, you know them, guys. We'll put them in there. Losers, what's going on? 
Nothing really in the losers I don't find is a dead cat bounce. So I'm going to scratch all those at. ETS, we already know how to trade those. Oil looks pretty interesting. Uh, nice little push, nice little trend, decent volume, but it's not up a lot. It's only a 4% typical New York Stock Exchange markets. Really nothing there. All right, so I want to get ready for class, guys. I got phase three. Looks like an exciting morning. I want to get very aggressive this morning. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight decent stocks. And remember, um, for all YouTube listeners and Twitter and Facebook, they're going to probably get this in the next 10 to 15 minutes before the market opens up. Not all these stocks are ones that are going to be trading. There's always new ones that do open up. Um, and if you want to know what they are, just feel free to register uh, and come and join our room and do a trial. In the meantime, we have a lot of new members that are joining us from yesterday and today. Um, guys, look, listen, and learn. And make sure you talk to your education advisor. And for everyone else, busy day. you got phase three. It's going on. I'll see you in 15 minutes. And then Trader Talks at 1 o'clock. All right, guys? Thanks, everyone. And uh, be safe and good luck today. So far, great October, just like I told you in the summertime. Just a matter of time.